Hey guys, I'm Gabriela with Sister South Dance Fitness. Welcome back to our channel. Today, what I'm going to break down for you is La Maraca. This video, this full choreo, just came out yesterday in our main YouTube channel, Sister South Crew. I hope you guys liked it. And today, we're going to break it down step by step. Let's get started. So, the first step that we're going to do is something that you do twice at the beginning and in the middle of the song. It's kind of like preparation. Just so you know, I use this song uh, a lot for uh, still warming up, like my second or third song, especially during cold weather, just because it really can warm you up in a safe way, okay? So what I specify a lot is that I know you, know, you, you know, your basic merengue is just like step side to side, but what I do need you to you know, look into a lot more is the little detail of like when you step, it's you know, it's, uh, the, your toes, the ball of your feet, and then the heel. So you go into each section thoroughly, and not, instead of, right? So since you're warming up, be careful and just be a little bit more patient in like doing it a little bit more thoroughly. Yes, does that make sense? Like each section of your, the surface of your feet. So that way you are all ready to go when it comes to jumping. Now, so I start with just a basic merengue, okay? Also uh, emphasizing your hip side to side. And it goes up. As you go one, two, three, up, what I need you to do is to extend your arms as much as you can, all right? So you go all the way up and it's one, two, three, oh. Now, this is happening. It's not just tap, tap, tap. Hip, 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 hip. Again, super good to warm you up, all right? And it starts. You're gonna go, this is what, basically the whole song is just the modification of your basic merengue side to side, okay? So, which is why it's great to go, keep warming up. Now what I do emphasize for the four, four counts, when you go one, two, three, and one, two, three, Dun, 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 dun. And then, after the four counts, you're still warming up, and then you kind of emphasize your hips a little more. See that swinging? Instead of just walking, right, which it's fine, but then you can start doing this a little more. This exaggeration of your hip action, and maybe a little bit of shoulders, is gonna help you warm up, okay? And then the chorus comes for the first time. You do the chorus for times. And it's super simple. One, two, three, and as you stick your butt back, okay, you want to make sure it's a circle that only your hips are drawing as opposed to this. That's enough. It's not bad. It's not wrong. It's just not the best way to do it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. See that? Just your hips. If you emphasize this circle, okay, it's gonna warm up your core and it's gonna warm up your hips. And this is super good to work on your isolations, which is why we do it so many times because you go first forward and then you change and then you change and then you change. Yes? So every single time, it's a great opportunity to make sure that you know you are checking everywhere, especially in the mirror, that your hips are drawing the circle. See that? Circle, circle, circle. Just my hips, the movement is just below my waist as opposed to everything. Okay, this is very important when it comes to isolations, guys. I know when you're tired, it's not so easy to get into that, but this is what we're here for to help you remind that these things are important. It's gonna make you a better dancer, it's gonna give you better results. We want that. Moving on. You go with another modification of the side to side step. So at the beginning you were just walking and now you're gonna walk and then lift your knee up. One, two, three, up. Back straight, always. Knee goes up. This is not necessary, okay? Relax it, even point it down as a way of warming up again your joints, okay? One, two, three, up. See how I'm on the ball of my feet? Up, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, up, one, two, three. And your arms are lightly swinging side to side. 
Okay, but you are warming up everything here with those knee lifts. So for the first, uh, for the first half, you just need to lift your knees up, and then you move on to pulling. Back, back. You grab, pull back, pull back. Again, super important, super great to warm up. And then you go back to your chorus. And then after your chorus, you move on to this little step that I see it's not so easy to get the details at the beginning, but this is what I'm here for. Ball of your feet. What you want is for everything to move together, to rotate together from here, okay? So this is happening. But as you step, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And what you want to look for is that your hips, your knees, and your ankles are all moving parallel to each other, as opposed to, see that? So, tuck it in tight, because this is where all the energy is going to control everything. And then straight up, and then you rotate, and you feel that rotation here, see that? Make sure you tighten this up so everything else is controlled. So everything else is lighter, easier to control. And then you move on to your merengue step, okay? Again, a super nice stretch for your hips. And then you're gonna switch to one, two, three, up, as soon as the song changes. And now what you wanna do is keep those knees together, extend your arms up as much as you can, don't forget your shoulders. And it's fast, so you're gonna make it stop, one, Two, up, one, two, up, one, two, up, one, two, up, one, two, up. If you freeze there, you should feel the stretch on your obliques, arms, and even a little bit on your hips, okay? Then you move on to your core back again. And then you're gonna go with these side to side, okay? You're gonna go shake, 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 shake. And then guys, you go back to the beginning basically because you're almost done. It's super easy, isn't it? Hi, Hola, baby. So you all go back to the beginning with your arms up and then the extensions and then your hips. The only thing that you're going to do different this time is just combine basically uh, the knee lifts with a little more of um, arm work. So you go immediately to, uh, and you, this all goes with the music, you're going to see when it changes. You go back to just starting with your hips side to side, and then the knees with pulling back, back. And always, see this, notice how your elbows are alternating the movements, one with the other, okay? And then the last part, and this is the best part for you, you should be already be warmed up to uh, perform this move, because it takes a lot out of you when you do it so many times, okay? You go in all the way up, knee, and, oh, I mean, you don't need to hold it, you're not supposed to, but you do extend, okay? So, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, up. So the higher you bring your knee up, the higher you extend, the better the stretch you're gonna get here, okay? I know this is a little bit more of fitness into your merengue, but it's a long song, and it's a great song to keep you nicely stretched and warmed up. Yes, and you have that break of that of the course, which you do four times. Guys, that's everything. That is all the steps. That is all the nuances in the song. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to move your hips. You're still dancing, okay? It's still you dancing to a song, and so don't forget that it needs to feel like you're enjoying it, right? Loosen up those shoulders, loosen up those hips. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you guys have any questions. I would love to answer them. Don't forget my social media. And I'll see you next time.